Good morning, brothers and sisters. Well, just out and about. I'm going to do a bit of work when I get home, but I've just been running my son to the next village to see his girlfriend, his new friend. Oh, it sounds biblical, doesn't it? But what's it about? You know, we've got beautiful landscapes. I come over the mountain on the way home and, and pray, and, and I use these times to pray and worship more than anything when I'm out and about. And I'm sure we all do, but, you know, I was thinking, and the Lord was placed on my, tie, on my mind that we're in the times of Noah. You know, that's what we're in. And so I come over the mountain and I think we're up high now um, and it's beautiful up here, but we know it's going to happen shortly. You know, um, what's going to happen shortly? What's going to happen shortly? Well, we are in the times of Noah. That means that there's horrendous things coming, even though we're looking around at this, this peaceful, what we think, land. We know there's wars and rumours of wars and everything is happening. Um, we look at the Middle East, it's it's kicking off big time. We knew the state of coronavirus. Um, we know that the swarms of locusts, you know, the signs are incredibly big now. And, you know, I want to continue a bit with, you know, prophecies and things that are happening around the world. But before I do, I just want to confirm what we're about. This is the promotion of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, the advancement of the kingdom of Father God. If you confess with your mouth, that Jesus Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, believing in your heart that God raised him from the dead and keeping it in your heart, you are saved. You are saved. You are out of what's coming, the coming wrath, the days of what was like when Noah flooded. Now, bearing in mind that Noah was building the ark for over 50 years, people must have thought he was mad, but that's the way God is. They warned, he warned them, even though how horrendous it was there. God took the time and warned them, you know, there's a man doing something and they ignored him. And look what happened. Only eight, only Noah and his sons and wives survived. Only. We want to look at this morning at some more things that are happening and that have happened according to scripture. You know, we look at the Gog and Magog, Russia, Iran, Turkey is a coalition that has never happened before that the Bible says will come together in the last days. And the Bible also says they will come against Israel someday and take the spoil of great booty, Ezekiel 138, 39. Okay, now that's the major one which is happening before our very eyes. Whether they'll take the great booty, we don't know. But that's we know that Russia is in the Golan Heights, you know, and everything surrounded Israel. It's happening. Um, we take another one, which is 27th on the list, apostasy bashing and falling away yeah bashing and falling away from the true faith of jesus christianity is the most hated faith on earth proving it is the only true faith if christianity was false then satan wouldn't care about the spread about its spread because it wouldn't be a threat to his plans because the bible is a threat spelling out his doom within the pages he has an agenda to make the world think it is hate speech and Islam is portrayed as peaceful by cutting heads off and infidels. You know, the enemy, you know, the, hell is mentioned more times in the Bible than heaven. It's choose where you're going time. It's your choice. I don't gain anything this side of heaven by getting out and speaking the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing. There's no financial gain. There's no fame. There's nothing for me and I don't want it if there was but it is an urgent time we see the signs we see the signs we cannot deny the signs they're coming like there is no tomorrow the signs we look at another one 28 strong delusion evolution a lie that we are just an ancient that we are just an ancient and not created by loving God Psalm 139 13 4 another one aliens a possible way that Satan plans to explain away the rapture. Everybody's heard the phrase, you know, aliens. We're seeing aliens. We don't know whether that's uh, alien um, demonic AI or that it is men using demonic AI to create these um, things. Beam me up, Scotty. For the famous Star Trek show shows, aliens could possibly be used as an excuse to show Christians were beamed away to clean, to clean, to cleanse the world so that the brave new world can be created without God. 2 Thessalonians 2.11. See the deception. 
Now you can buy the deception, but you buy it at your own peril. It is a deception by Satan to take away as many of God's children because you were born and created in his image. You are his if you confess, but the only way is through his son, Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life with him. So you choose this day, whether you make Jesus your Lord or you continue having Satan as your Lord. That's the hard facts and the truth about what is going down right now before our eyes. But we look at one, another one, 29. The two-state solution, the UN and the Palestine Authority are trying to divide up land that God gave to Israel. This is scripture, specifically Jerusalem. The deal of the century could be the forerunner for just such a scenario that the Bible says the Antichrist will one day confirm or make strong in some way, starting off the seven-year tribulation. 1 Thessalonians 5.3 and Joel 3.2. These are the prophecies you can find. These are the places you can find these prophecies. They're coming true. They're coming true before our very eyes. As indeed, Noah built this huge ark on a hill. We must have seen crazy, but it was a warning, as God always will give us warnings, if we're a mind to look and see them. Again, I reiterate, it's not, it's not too late now to confess and believe that Jesus is the Christ and escape, escape all these things that's coming in the seven-year tribulation. However, if you are in the tribulation, if you get to the tribulation and you, these things are all confirmed, which they are being, then you still have a chance to accept Christ. But you'll have to not take the mark of the beast. You'll have to deny the things of the world. You'll not be able to trade, eat, feed your family. That's a terrible decision. But if you endure till the end, that be death or the end of the tribulation, then you'll still obtain the kingdom. You'll obtain the kingdom, the key to the kingdom of the Father God. An amazing, amazing place of retirement but you won't be retired we are the bible says we there is a trip a millennium period will be coming back for a thousand years but i just want to leave you with them thoughts please ponder on them please contact us on discord if if you want to know more and come and find out more about us and what we're up to and what we're doing and if you want to know the lord just ask please help i need to know about these things so brothers and sisters, I'm going to leave you with, may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you, be gracious to you this day and always. God bless.